children welcome back to social science e class learning children in my earlier videos i had explained you chapter number 7 india border area location and physiography i had explained you the physical variations which india has moving further with the question and answers and the objectives of the chapter children first we will be doing the question bank let us see in that we have see whether the sentences are true or false first one india is the seventh largest country in the world children it is true the statement is true then we have second mount everest of india is the highest peak children the statement is false third statement is central and deccan plateau regions of india are known as treasure of minerals children as explained earlier i was explaining you that south india deccan plateau has so many varieties of minerals right it has mica copper gold those special minerals rare minerals are found in the deccan plateau moving with the fourth one tropic of cancer passes through india you know what is tropic of cancer it is the latitude on the earth it passes through india children do remember it is false tropic of capricorn they have written tropic of capricorn passes through india it is false but it is the tropic of cancer which passes through india fifth one run of kutch is very sandy false sixth tropic of capricorn passes through india it is false betwa is a famous lake of india this statement is also false nanda devi peak is 7871 meter high this statement is also false children moving further with question number 2 Fill in the blanks. First one, Indira Canal provides irrigation facility to North Rajasthan. So we have the blank as Indira Canal. Second, a piece of land covered by water from all four sides is called an island. The two important ranges of the Eastern Himalayas are the Patkoi and the Lushan. Fourth one, the valleys of Narmada. and shown rivers divide the central and deccan plateau into two parts it divides the plateau into two parts fifth the arabian sea is located in the west of india sixth himalayas are a chain of three distinct mountain ranges we have the greater himalayas the central himalayas and the shivalik ranges seventh one Mount Godwin Austen lies in the Corcoran range. Eighth one, there are five physiographic divisions of India. Children, we had done the physiographic division. We had there we have the islands, the deserts. Then we have the Great Himalayan range, mountainous regions. Those are the five physiographic divisions of India. Ninth one, study of variations in land form is called physiography. Tenth one, central and deccan plateau is the oldest landmass of India. Children, here we complete the fill in the blanks. Moving further with question and answers. Question number three, answer briefly. With that we have how the islands came into existence. The islands came into existence through earthquakes. volcanic eruptions water currents etc due to these disturbances of the sea floor emerges over the sea surface as there is water around this land it turns into an island in this way islands may have come into existence so because of the volcanic eruptions water currents there is the shake in the earth and because of that islands have come into existence so question 2 why are the deserts thinly populated answer is the soil in the desert area is sandy and the climate is dry and unbearable second rainfall is scanty in such regions third hence it faces water shortage and remains dry barren and uninhabited 
fourth one due to the scarcity of water and unavailability of basic necessities the population of this region is very less children we have done the question and answers of the question bank and we sending the pdf of these question and answers and the objectives children do watch the video and try to complete the notebook till then stay home stay safe thank you